Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the top 5 sniper support weapons to use in Warzone. And to get some of our stats for these guns, we're going to be using TrueGameData.com. If you've never visited this site, you definitely should. I'm going to link the site in the description below, so check it out if you've never heard of the site before because it's a great one. So let's talk about first what makes a good sniper support weapon. Obviously, we're going to have a sniper as our other weapon in this loadout, so that's going to cover our long to super long distances. So what we're looking for in this weapon is for it to be able to have a good TTK up close and in that medium to long range where you aren't going to be sniping. Now I will say that the meta is completely balanced right now, so any of these guns in the top 5, you're going to struggle if you run up to somebody from 0 to 15 or so meters and they have a bullfrog, an mp5, or one of the smgs. These guns aren't going to quite beat out those guns anymore because the meta is pretty great right now if I'm being honest. But these guns will give you the best chance to succeed at every range. So coming in at number 5 is going to be the Farah 83. Now this gun just got a recent nerf which killed some of its effectiveness at short range. It's still a solid option to use at sniper support, but like I said earlier, this gun is going to lose out in a very close range battle if you run into somebody with an SMG and don't get the jump on them. Coming in at number 4 is going to be the XM4. Now this gun just recently creeped into the meta and it's a pretty solid option to use as a sniper support weapon. It kills fairly quick up close and it'll cover you in those medium ranges as well. Coming in at number 3 is going to be the Ram 7. Now this is just a great all around gun and if you're paying attention to the attachments you'll notice that this is the only one that I'm going to have built like a true AR. I just don't care for the arm sights too much on this gun and also don't pay super super close attention to the attachments because I'm going to be coming out with a video on each one of these guns. I actually already have one out on the far that you could check out for yourself but I'm gonna come out with a video going in, in depth in detail about each of the attachments for these weapons. Coming in at number two is gonna be the Cold War AK-47. This gun absolutely shreds. Now I've also covered a video on the AK-47 already where I go into detail with each attachments so if you haven't checked that out be sure to check it out because there's a lot of different ways that you can build this gun but this is the one I personally use myself and the AK-47 is a great sniper support weapon. Coming in at number one is going to be the CR-56 AMAX. Now the nerfs to the Farah, the XM4, and the AK-47 to their movement and strafe speed is what bumped this gun up to number one on this list. Now I know that the AMAX also got a nerf, but it wasn't a very significant one. So what I did with the AMAX right here is built it slightly different than if I was running it as an AR to give me a little bit quicker sprint to fire speed and a little bit quicker ADS which is going to allow me to win more of those short range gunfights while also giving it still the ability to shred at medium to long ranges. So now we're going to take a look at the time to kill charts for these weapons and I'll explain to you why I have them ranked the way I do. As you can see in orange that's the AMAX and despite the nerf it still kills faster than any of these other weapons up close and at range which is why I have it ranked as my number one option. And at green is the AK-47. You see it kills slightly slower than the AMAX, but it's not that big of a difference. The AK is a great sniper support weapon. And the pink one, or purple one, is the Ram 7, which is a solid overall gun. It kills pretty fast up close, but it has a little bit of a steeper drop off whenever you get into range. The fourth ranked weapon is the XM4, which you see is still a solid option, but not as good as the others. And then the Fara, which dipped off quite a bit with the nerf, especially because now it doesn't move as well as it did. Now, why aren't we using SMGs and why didn't they make this list? The reason is because, like I explained earlier, we want to cover that short range and medium to long range as good as possible. SMGs will cover you better than these guns from about 0 to 15, 20-ish meters. But after that, you're going to have a much steeper drop off in the time to kill at those medium distances. So I think it's best to use one of these five options whenever you pairing it with the sniper just because it gives you 
the best chance to win up close and the best chance to win at medium to long range whenever you aren't using your sniper. That'll do it for today's video. In just a few days, I'm going to have a video coming out specifically covering the AMAX build for sniper support. So be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss it because there's quite a few ways that you can build the AMAX that's going to make it better to use as a sniper support weapon. As always, thanks for watching EU Gaming.